Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. I decided to grab my drink and come sit outside. It's actually pretty chilly out in the morning. It's supposed to be a high of 78 today. But in the morning right now, it's pretty chilly. So I put on a jacket. If you're brand new to my channel, welcome. If you just came here just to see the results of this five day detox or find out more about it, click on this video because of that. I do still have my morning frownies on, which I wear several times throughout the week. And I did put hair oil in my hair. I wanted to mention that as well because my hair is looking very oily right now. You might be wondering what is going on over there. Um, so I did apply a hair oil last night. It's a pre-wash oil, so I'm gonna wash my hair this morning. But today is day one of the five-day detox from your super. I love the golden mellow. I've been using it for quite some time now. I love it as a golden milk latte in the evenings with some steamed milk, cinnamon. So it's not new to me, and I was browsing through, I don't know if it was their website or Facebook, not Facebook, um, Amazon, because they do sell on Amazon as well, and I saw that they sell a five-day detox. So I started looking into it, reading into it, but watched a few YouTube videos. There are a few out there, and it really intrigued me, interested me, because I do like the Your Super mixes. They have a very simple, <clears throat> excuse me, they have very simple ingredients, I believe they're mostly organic or all organic and it's like five seven ingredients per mix of just kind of like whole food type items it's not no fluff no additives no fillers none of that just very straightforward so this is why i do love their actual mixes but they came out with a five-day detox using their mixes so you'll have your gut drink in the morning which is what i'm drinking right now which by the way this tastes um, almost like a celery drink, I would say, a little bit, but I added lemon to mine, so I feel like the lemon definitely makes a huge difference. I mean, it's not like the best thing I've ever tried, but it's definitely drinkable. <laughs> like, it's really not that bad. I feel like celery juice was actually a lot worse, because I tried the whole celery juice thing just for fun to see, and I was not a fan. This, I actually don't mind. Maybe it's the lemon, wa lemon in the water. So you start your day with this gut drink, and then they do recommend drinking a lot of water, the when you do buy the five day detox it comes with the guide the grocery list everything you need seasonal swaps um, just so much great information and i like that they don't prioritize like depriving yourself it's more so nourishing yourself with whole simple food so it's dairy free this entire five days is going to be caffeine free first of all <laughs> that would be interesting although i did buy some french chicory as a replacement there's like a little fruit fly here which I might have after breakfast. So they have a list of things that you're gonna be avoiding these five days. It's alcohol, meat, dairy, processed foods, caffeine, sugar, chocolate, salt, oils, additives, fillers, and they do have something called a chocolate lover mix, a power matcha mix, energy bomb, and magic mushroom mix. I'm assuming to, they say to avoid those, I'm assuming because of caffeine intake and things like that. The French chicory is completely caffeine free, so I'm assuming that will be just fine for this five day detox. So yeah, it just sounded really interesting because I want to see how I'm going to feel eliminating all of those things. Things like processed foods, too much caffeine, sugar, um, oils, additives, fillers, like that was very interesting to me. And I went ahead and looked through the entire five days and every day is jam-packed with a lot of nutrition. You shouldn't be depriving yourself. If you still feel hungry, then just up your portions, double them. They do have a lot of snacking options, things like that. So I'll just be taking you along. The five days so this is day one thought i would do an introduction as to what this is and i'm on my gut feeling drink here almost done and i'll start with breakfast so when i ordered the five day detox it came in a box like this with all the five different powders i already have a golden mellow that i use like i mentioned i got mine on amazon so i'm not going to open this new one i'm just going to use the one that i have and this is a drink I had in the morning, the gut feeling. It's kind of like a celery drink, if you will, with a few other things. So they are going to have the guide for you, which goes through everything day by day, your grocery list, all that stuff. It also has a section at the end to track your progress so you can like share how you're feeling. They have some detox approved snacks. So I already went ahead and got everything the weekend of before doing this detox. So I have everything ready to go. And then there's, by the way, I did want to say that I am very well aware and I do believe that our bodies are very smart when it comes to different mechanisms. Our bodies do a great job of detoxing, you know, taking care of us, all this stuff. But with, in today's world, I feel like we have such a variety of different foods and things that we eat that 
might not have come around until recently. This is why this really interested me because it avoids a lot of those processed foods, sugar, uh, just unnecessary fillers, all that stuff, and just focuses mostly on like whole foods. Obviously, these are in a sense processed because they're powders, but they're using whole foods. So everyone has their opinion and decisions that they make in life. This isn't me making any statements, claims, not any medical professional advice or anything, just bare minimum sharing my experience with the detox and that's it. Just a little disclaimer, but in the box you'll also get the skinny protein. And I know the word skinny kind of can remind you of like the detox teas that the Kardashians used to sponsor, things like that. So I feel like everyone's kind of traumatized by that at this point. But this one has organic pea protein, organic hemp protein, organic moringa, or organic spirulina, and organic alfalfa powder. So this is what I mean. There's like no fluff, free from additives, sweeteners, fillers, all that artificial stuff. Then there's the Forever Beautiful Smoothie Powder, and it has chia seed, acai, maki, acerola, acerola, pomegranate, wild blueberry. Then there's a super green mix right here, and this one has the wheatgrass, barley grass, moringa, bulbob, spirulina, and chlorella. Basically what it says on the front is what it has in the ingredients list, so this is why I do genuinely like your super as a brand. They also gave some bamboo straws, which I thought was nice, the golden mellow, and then they gave some samples of their new gut restore. This is a probiotic drink. It has a blend of a probiotic blend in it. So this I'm going to be interested to see how this tastes, kind of drink it, sip it throughout the day. And they gave a few samples of that, so that was really nice. And that kind of is what comes in the box. But now I'm going to go ahead and make my morning smoothie and i'm not going to be sharing the exact recipes day by day because i feel like that's not fair to the brand that spent time making this so i'm just going to like show you what it is i'm eating but not actually show you recipe by re like ingredient by ingredient so let me go ahead and make the breakfast tropical green smoothie I wanted to do a check-in because I did develop a headache, but I wanted to also say that the lunch salad was really filling and the salad is going to be for day one and two, so I just made a bunch of sweet potato to have ready to go for today and tomorrow. But the lunch was salad was very filling, love the sweet potato touch. I might even like use that recipe and in the future maybe add, you could add like salmon to it, some cooked salmon, some protein. You can definitely use these recipes and incorporate them into your daily life but i did develop a headache and i think that's from the caffeine that i didn't have any caffeine i usually always have like my morning coffee and i'll drink like two to three espressos two to four espressos throughout the day like espresso shots um not just by themselves but with like oat milk regular milk whatever i'll make like a latte out of it so i'm not used to not drinking any caffeine and i drink it just for the enjoyment like to me a latte is like a hug in a mug like my morning latte so that's the hard, that part is definitely difficult but because i am developing a headache i'm trying to also drink more water so i added some of the gut feeling to some water it's actually not bad it's not like the best thing ever but this one for me probably tastes better than the morning one that i tried the gut the other gut one i don't remember the celery celery drink one this one i probably prefer a little bit more they are different though so just sip on that and then maybe i'll have a snack later smoothie uh, for dinner it's a smoothie and then the golden milk latte right before bed
This is a detox day too. I have some infused water here. I did ginger, lemon, apple, a little bit of mint. That way I can like drink it throughout the day. Otherwise I'm pretty bad at drinking water. I'm not gonna lie. So the last clip of me talking you guys saw was the right before when I had a headache or when I developed a headache and then I took a short nap. And after I woke up from the nap, my headache was like a million times worse. I do get headaches here and there if I'm being honest and a lot of times it's from neck tension the way that I'll sleep or sometimes if I'm like looking down too much um, I will develop a headache and I know it's neck tension headaches because whenever I massage the area it's like immediate relief and the pain I feel it here as well as it kind of like radiates to the forehead so I'm sure the no caffeine which I'm so used to drinking caffeine kind of exacerbated it to an extent and then a few diet changes I ended up running some errands with the family and I figured since I, caffeine is like such an integral part of my morning, we did end up buying like half calf beans and I am gonna incorporate that kind of into the detox. I know the detox is flexible, like it's not black and white. You can kind of switch up the recipes. If you would much rather have the salad in the evening, you can have it in the evening. If you don't like these recipes, you can kind of create your own. So it is very flexible. It kind of just gives you like a nice template to follow or you can follow it to the T if you would much rather have like take the thinking out of it. And these headaches that I get, it takes some time for them to go away and when I do get them I will get pretty nauseous to the point where I, I'm not hungry I'm just nauseous it definitely makes me nauseous so we had a family movie night yesterday and we did have some popcorn so we did cheat a little bit but just, just trying to be honest we did have some popcorn and then we had the cut up apples with the nut butter almond butter and then I just went to bed I didn't even have the evening smoothie and I didn't have the golden mellow I just had such a bad headache and I even woke up with a headache but it seems to be gone now headaches are a symptom of detox symptoms and they give you a list of symptoms that you might get It is now day, well, I'm just gonna hold it. It is now day three, getting ahead of myself. It's, itself. it's only day three. I have my detox morning drink here. I was gonna skip the detox drink and break this all together just because I'm not feeling like drinking anything at all, but we're gonna drink the detox drink and then the breakfast smoothie I'll probably skip. I'm gonna go run some errands, have a bunch of errands to run. Might pick up a decaf Americano. Uh, last night I had the the salad was actually very very filling I will say I went to bed feeling as if my food didn't digest all the way there was a lot of gurgling a lot of gassiness I don't know I just feel like it took a long time to digest everything like I was in bed at like midnight and I could still hear the gurgling and everything's digesting and I can almost like taste my food still so that wasn't nice um, but otherwise I feel fine I don't feel like I don't have any energy the headache is still gone Thank you, Jesus. This smoothie for day three is actually pretty good. I was looking through the ingredients and I was like, oh, I don't know. And then I blended it together, tried it, and very surprising how delicious it is. So I do think their recipes, however, put them together. They actually did a pretty good job. The last clip you guys saw was in the morning. I did grab a decaf americano then i came home i made a salad but i made my own salad like i just did two cups of greens a whole avocado and i did add chicken i know it's supposed to be dairy free meat free and i say dairy free because i did like a southwest dressing using a sour cream i was going to use yogurt i wish i had like a vegan yogurt but i don't so i just used a sour cream and made like a southwest type dressing and then i also added corn so the salad didn't really follow the detox but I would say it's still a pretty wholesome salad. Like if I were to make a salad apart from the detox, like on my right in my regular life, I this is definitely something that I would make. Like I definitely add protein to my salads. That's just how we eat personally. I'll drink my smoothie, probably have the golden mellow um, tonight. And see you guys tomorrow morning for day four.
It is now 7, like 40, almost 8 o'clock. So I'm feeling a little bit hungry, but not that hungry. The salad was actually pretty filling. And I did my own salad again this time. I did like a Southwest salad and I added an egg in there. Red onion, I feel like red onion in sandwiches and salads makes a big difference. So it's classic blueberry smoothie today. It's like a basic smoothie with some almond butter. Um, I'm gonna use oat milk and blueberries. By the way, I got oat milk from Amazon. It came in like a pack of six or something. I do feel like I still prefer Oatly, but Oatly has like fillers in there and things like that. Whereas this one, it's literally just filtered water, organic whole grain oats, organic real vanilla extract, and sea salt. And that's it. And this is from Willa's. Yeah. So not bad. Not bad. I didn't think I would like this one, but it's not bad. I'm actually gonna go ahead and make some detox approved snacks. So they have a recipe for some bliss balls. And just like that, this magic bullet that we've had for 10 years <laughs> no longer works. Cause it's like shredding the this right here. You're supposed to be using this in a food processor. I figured I could do it in here. Nope. So if you're gonna make the fruit balls, do not make them in a blender like this. I do still have this attachment though, so this one I just tried it out and it works just fine. But we are not making bliss balls with it, that's for sure. Hey guys, it is Sunday. It's been this is like day seven so two days after the five day detox and i kind of wanted to finalize my thoughts and opinions experience how i've been feeling today i did have the gut feeling in the morning mixed it in with some water and lemon lemon definitely makes the biggest difference i will say i mean unless you love celery juice then you know you do you and then for lunch we had salad with grilled chicken wings and dinner i just made myself the smoothie from one of the five day detox recipes using forever beautiful by the way my husband's mowing the grass right now so i want to get this video up sorry if that noise bothers anyone let me give it a minute i really love the smoothie recipes that they have included i tried making my own and it just wasn't the same i think they did a really good job with the flavors in the smoothies and putting them together very well balanced smoothie in my opinion and the salads also with the dressings the detox finished on friday i had the taco salad for lunch which was actually really filling the beans i feel like beans in general can make a lot of people gassy so i definitely did experience gassiness well into saturday morning but otherwise throughout the week i didn't feel like bloating because sometimes i'll get really bloated my stomach gets really hard and it's just super uncomfortable and it's not like a normal like your body's definitely trying to tell you something like it's reacting to something I feel like people normalize bloating so much it can be common definitely and i feel like it's very common to experience bloating but i don't think it's normal again not medical professional advice just where i'm at in life sharing my thoughts and opinions i felt great for the week i did have a lot of an espresso shot a day for the detox the rest of the detox and i feel like that definitely made a difference and i'm trying to cut back on the caffeine and have maybe two coffees a day and that's it like two lattes i do feel like this detox kind of sets you up on a path of better eating habits and i feel like those eating habits will definitely differ person to person going in we did kind of already eat you know pretty good and, and again i say that in quotation marks because that will look different for anyone for everyone somebody might be vegan somebody might you know not do dairy be gluten free everybody makes different choices when it comes to having like a wholesome diet for us personally or for me because i can only speak for myself i did already cut out try to cut out like processed sugars um fillers things like that that just are not needed which is why i love the your super powders to begin with because they're no fluff no bs just very simple ingredients good quality powders, and they're meant to supplement they're not like the greens powders they're meant to supplement 
greens that you should already be eating in your diet just kind of like add in there going in this i was kind of already making better choices obviously there are outliers like for example friday we had a birthday party or my kids birthday party in may you know we have cupcakes there's cake there's hot dogs hamburgers like i'm you know we there are situations like that where we will have hot dogs and hamburgers at parties and events and Saturday there was my kids went to a birthday party and I did have some sweets and then I did notice towards the evening like almost an hour after I had the sweets my stomach was just started to get really stiff very uncomfortable very bloated so for me I kind of do think that it might be sugar I haven't I can't like self diagnose myself I did have a bit of like dairy throughout the week like with my lattes I did have regular milk I just didn't really like it with the oat milk and I felt fine and I know some people might think that this det the detox is very restrictive but for me I feel like it just depends on what you value more like I just was so sick and tired of dealing with the symptoms of bloating and gassiness sometimes it just, some sometimes there just be really bad stomach aches like I get very frequent stomach aches and I'm not willing to continue eating the way that I am and still have those symptoms I would much rather figure out why am I feeling this way get to a healthier state and you know nourish my body better so that I'm not having those symptoms instead of just like dealing with it and this is what I have to deal with like um, that's just not my mentality so this detox did kind of help me cut everything out because otherwise I feel like I cut it all out and then it's like what do I eat you know with this I was still able to get my caloric needs in like I did not lose any weight because I was still eating the same amount of calories that I usually do sometimes even more and it's pretty nutrient dense in my opinion you have the snack options all of that so I was able to eat well I would say while still cutting out all of these things and see how my body reacted so for me it was definitely worth it and then also these powders you can use going forward like the gut feeling I'm not crazy about I just I tried the whole celery thing for a week just because I was curious I don't think celery is a superfood by any means to each their own I mean I do think it has its own benefits and things like that but I'm just not crazy about celery juice so the lemon makes a big difference I will say try it with lemon if you're not crazy about celery like I am but I think it's nice to have I'd much rather have water with lemon I do think I'm gonna use this up just to use it up I'm not sure I would repurchase it again being honest the forever beautiful powder I really love and I love the smoothie recipes that they gave so I will definitely keep using that greens powders I love having because I don't always get my greens in so it's nice to add those in again supplement not replace and also the golden mellow absolutely love that have already been using that what else is there there was the skinny protein I think they call it skinny protein because it's carb conscious carb conscious I read on their website not necessarily like a skinny detox version by any means and again it's also like a supplement you add in especially for like post workouts I think those are really great or adding in the breakfast smoothie really love the recipes I truly do and then what else am I like missing anything I think that covers all the five mixes and I will continue to use them so I'm definitely gonna use them it's not a situation where you buy some kind of juice detox and you're not really even getting any meals in you feel super deprived never felt deprived I felt you know great the first day was definitely rough I think especially the headache exacerbated it like crazy and then the no caffeine for me that was a big hit so another thing I wanted to know is that if you're going from a diet of like eating a ton of processed foods it might be a little bit harder for you whereas for me the only thing that I truly cut out was like caffeine and the dairy and the meat I do still we do still eat meat and going forward that is something that we're going to continue to do and then dairy also I do think you need to get good quality dairy I personally would recommend it give it a try I'll leave my personal referral code down below or you can sometimes they have deals on the website it is a little expensive it's $150 but you get the five powders four of them I will I would 100% repurchase and use day to day but in general I think they're a really great brand they have like I like what they stand for they don't have none of the fluff none of the fillers none of all that you know they're not for depriving yourself and starving yourself and I just genuinely think they're a great brand so I would give them a try I would recommend them I had a great experience with it and going forward I think it did help me get onto the path of like making better choices even more so than where we already were um so yeah that's kind of like my experience with the whole thing i have a feeling i probably missed something and i'll be editing the video but such is life hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in future videos